We've got two minutes. Chewing as fast as we can over here. <laughs> One minute. One minute. Five twenty-nine. I don't want to be crunching carrots from you. You signed by me. You did that too fast. <laughs> You're going to fall over in here and we're going to have to CPR on him. <laughs> Don't joke about Jill, that. Jill, it's your turn. <laughs> Let's pop on his chest. Good. Don't pop him down on him. Two, one, go. Good evening. Welcome to the Water and Sewer Advisory Board meeting. I'd like to call the meeting to order. And first thing on the agenda will be the adoption of the agenda. Everybody happy with the agenda? Make a motion we adopt it. I have a motion to adopt. I have a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, the approval of the minutes of August the 8th. Everybody's read them. Does anybody have any additions, corrections, or comments or commentary about them? If no, I'll entertain a motion to accept a minute. So moved. Second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Work plan discussion. Mr. Wally Hansen, sir. Good evening. <clears throat> Next month, um, the 19th, um, representative from your board will meet with city council along with the other advisory committees um, we did this last year in november and this is where we set the work plan for the current fiscal year that we're in fiscal year 13 and we've been working through some of those tasks that we're going to discuss in a few minutes um, at that meeting we're going to give an update on uh, where we stand on some of those tasks we have been asked to provide an overall goal for the committee, um, and each committee has been asked to provide one, um, recommended for council consideration from the, this committee itself. And then we've been asked to provide a few, two to three um, work tasks that we can identify for fiscal year 2014 um, for council to consider and discuss also. So with that, we sent you out an agenda and kind of summarized um, that information. We also um, went ahead and included our task for the current fiscal year. Um, the tasks that we've worked on to date are to create a more customer-friendly water bill, utility bill. And I know that this um, committee formed a subcommittee, went out and reviewed that, came back, made recommendations, made recommendations to finance and some of those were implemented. Uh, this committee was also involved in reviewing the website with the media um, staff, and the website's actually been implemented and is up and operating. 
And for utilities, Crystal actually maintains that for us. Um, you have also been, been involved in reviewing the CIP, um, the Capital Improvement Plan, with through the process, and you actually re recommended the adoption for the 2013 budget. And you are getting ready to um, embark on that process again. It typically kicks off around the October, November timeframe for staff. We're actually um, working on putting together new projects now for consideration in the um, you know fourth and fifth year and we will be talking about projects that will move up um, in the CIP into uh, what will be the next funding year and the planned projects after that. We'll talk about whether priorities need to shift and bring those items to you. As a kickoff to that, at the next meeting we're planning to have Mr. Ryan <coughs> King who's the planning um, and development services administrator and what he's going to do is come and talk to you where over the last five years or so we have seen growth pressure um, he's going to talk to you a little bit about what's available in the city as far as vacant land is concerned and he's going to tell you um, who he's been talking with you know that we have developers come in all the time and meet with staff to find out uh, what our requirements are, what kind of services are in a certain area, so he can tell you um, an idea of where people have been talking about future development or potential development. Um, and all of that can be taken as a precursor to where we need to see infrastructure. So that can help guide our capital improvement projects for water and sewer. So what we plan to do is bring that to you next week, so that will kick off the capital improvement plan discussion for fiscal year 14 budget. Um, and once that is completed, that's where we'll go back into the reevaluation of facility fees and we'll run the facility fee model and bring that back to you. So those are two annual things that will be done. Um, so as we're looking at tasks to move forward into fiscal year 14, those are two good candidates because those are reoccurring things that this board is involved in each year. Um, remaining tasks on fiscal year 13 to be completed are to make recommendations on an educational program for water and sewer related items um, for the citizens of Jacksonville and to assist city staff in finding operational efficiencies. Um, tonight, in a, your second agenda item, we're actually going to talk about the education program and we'll get into that in a little more detail. And then at future meetings, we'll actually talk about how do we get into um, looking at operational efficiencies. Um, there's, there's various things that we've talked about as a staff, whether we bring the, the different divisions in and explain some of what we do, or we could consider a subcommittee that could take time and actually go spend time at one or two of our facilities and see how we actually operate so that you have a more in-depth view of what our operations actually are. So those are some upcoming things that we're going to need to address. Um, although we're meeting with council next month to discuss where we stand with um, the task for fiscal year 13, I'll remind the board that Fiscal year 13 is not over until June 30th. So it's not something that we, that all of these tasks need to be completed by November. This is a year long task that was set. And some of these items we may need to bring back to you. You may need multiple meetings to consider, especially like the capital improvement plan. So getting started, I thought one of the first things to do would be talk about a goal for the committee. Um, I, I tried to meet with staff and put together some options for you to consider. Um, we actually have one more water and sewer advisory committee before the November 19th. Um, we actually meet November 14th, which is the week prior. So if we don't come to a full agreement this meeting and we need to roll something over to the next meeting so we can have